What's up guys, Universal Mastery. So, in today's video, what we're gonna be talking about is what to expect when you make a pact with a certain deity or spirit. Stay tuned. Okay, so what you can expect when you make a pact. This is a question that, you know, tons of people want to know about because there's a notion and what a lot of people think is that, you know, and this is this is surface level um, for people that really have no idea what they're talking about and have never studied before. They think that if you make a pact, you're just you're completely locked in and your soul is definitely going to hell but you're automatically going to live a great fun materialized life that where you literally you snap your fingers and everything appears for you but you're guaranteed to go to hell and that's kind of like the the sacrifice you have to make in order to gain all that wealth and all that abundance so let me put a pin in that and and put that to the side for a second and let's talk about the real truth okay so it's definitely important that we take a look at that end of the, the perspective because that is literally what most of society thinks um, thinks thinks when when it comes to making when they think about making like a deal with the devil or making a pact with a certain type of spirit you know and I'm talking about you know signing your name in blood dedicating yourself to a specific spirit um, that is literally what most people think now once again we have that pinned right over here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you the the truth um, and this is also coming from personal experience I have made a pact um, and I've made more than one pact I have two packs right now um, so that's also another thing that people aren't aware of you can make multiple packs with different spirits now obviously there are some spirits like like for example let's say you make a, a pact with a specific spirit and then that specific spirit um, has a rival or a, 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 there's a different spirit that, that that spirit doesn't really get along with your your best bet and and to be honest you're probably not likely to do this but your best bet is if you're if you make a pact with this spirit let, let's say over here spirit a then if this spirit a doesn't get along or doesn't mesh well with spirit b then you don't want to make a pact with spirit b too because that would just that would that would just be dis it it, it would be disharmonious it would be out of balance because these two energies don't like each other but you're trying to you know you're trying to work with them constantly I'm not saying that you can't do that you definitely could if you really felt like you needed to and wanted to but most likely that won't even happen in the first place so I wouldn't really worry about that but you know there always is that chance that that could happen um, but yeah long story short is you can make packs with multiple spirits as well. I have a pact with Lucifer and I have a pact with Belial. Um, and these are two very powerful spirits. Now, what I want to talk about when it comes to making packs, one second, is the fact that um, this is what you can expect when you make a pact. And there is definite, definitely going to be a sacrifice okay now whoever's listening is probably like oh fuck okay buckle in let's let's hear what the sacrifice is okay and the sacrifice is that when you make packs with spirits that is a very potent thing that you can do that is you the person whoever's making the pact saying to this very powerful deity or whatever spirit it is that is you saying, I am dedicating my DNA, I'm dedicating my time, and I'm dedicating my energy to you, being the spirit, um, to learn from you and gain all the power, the knowledge, wisdom that I can possibly withstand in my own being, like in my within my own self. The, 
pretty much reaching the threshold of what the adept can handle. So when you make that pact, you're signing that deal saying, I am, I am now a student, a massive student to learn from you. And I am, I am totally like focusing on this knowledge that I can gain from this spirit. Um, and, and when you make a pact and when you sign a pact with blood, I mean, any pact in general is a, is going to be a pact, but obviously there's, 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 we will get into this a little bit later, but there's, a, there's also times where you can make a pact and you actually don't even make the pact because the spirit doesn't even, the spirit knows you're not ready to make that pact. And you may be trying to just gain all these, you know, this, this materialized abundance and you think it's going to just happen like that. And you know, you're just like, fuck it. I, 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 you know, you might have hit a point in your life where you're like, fuck it. I'm just going to make a pack. Like, I don't care if I go to hell. I'm just going to, for people that don't know what making a real pact is going to do or what a real pact does, th there's times of many times where the spirits themselves, where, 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 you know, let's say the practitioner or somebody that's usually new to magic wants to go right off the bat and make a pact. That spirit will know that that person's trying to make a pact, but they won't, the deal won't be signed. Okay. So Lucifuge is known as a pact maker. So a lot of the times Lucifuge will manifest, whether you're aware of it or not. Um, when, when you go to make a pact, Lucifuge will manifest and he will, he will seal that deal for you. He'll like, he'll be, he's like, I guess, you could almost envision him as writing out the pact, like sealing it, like like delivering it and, and making it making it solidified so that it's it's the real deal. Um, Lucifer is not he not always, he doesn't always have to be there when you make a pact. Um, but a lot of the times Lucifuge is there. There's there's also other spirits that seal seal the deal for packs things like that and they will show up and they will they'll sign it you you might not necessarily see them or you might not necessarily be aware of them but just know that most likely they're they're there and they're showing up okay so um so yeah so if the the sacrifice that you have to make when you make a pact is you you're going to undergo this is what you're going to this is what's going to happen you're going to undergo massive transformation okay you're gonna and, and according to that spirit whatever spirit it was that you made a pact with whatever that spirit has to offer you the gnosis the abilities the insights the wisdom the power all, the protection all those things you are going to enhance the floodgates to to bestow those attributes onto you okay you are gonna pretty much like the gateway was open but now you're you're really opening it okay and you're also one you're showing that spirit a sign of loyalty and communion because you had made a pact when you make a pact with the spirit that's a big deal that spirit is always going to be in your life if you channel a spirit with a sigil that spirit's always going to be in your life it's always going to like when you open that gate in your mind it's always going to be a part of you and, and it's going to show up in your life from time to time but when you make a pact with a spirit that spirit is always that spirit is always going to influence you it is always going to have massive influence over you um so you definitely want to make sure that you're ready to make a pact when you go to make a pact um but what's going to happen is you're going to undergo some massive changes and all these most of these changes like 90 percent of them are going to be internal shifts in your state of mind in your physiology in your neurology uh in your psychology all those things okay and as these changes start to happen within you, you're going to notice changes in your external reality. You're going to notice changes in your day to day life. And what you're probably going to realize is a lot of correlations and a lot of connections to that spirit or that deity that you have made a pact with. Okay. You're going to see attributations in your day to day life, according to that deity that you made that pact with. And those external attributions are also going to be a part of your chemical transformation and transmutation, um, which is which is a really cool thing. So making a pact is not just that genie in the bottle. OK, you actually work for it. OK, it enhances your abilities. It makes you more primed and it makes you more prepped to become a very powerful magician. 
okay? It makes you primed and prepped to become a very powerful person in general, a very powerful wizard, a very powerful warlock, very powerful, you name it, okay? Um, but with that power comes the, has to come wisdom, understanding, and the ability to turn knowledge into action. Because once again, I, there are many people that try to make packs with these beings and they think they made the pack just because they fucking wrote it down and spilled their blood, but they did it because they're not ready to go to undergo the changes that need to happen or the changes that are going to happen once you make that pact. And they think that, that they can just sign the deal and then all this shit is gonna come to them. If that's what you think, you need to erase that out of your mind. Now, those things, those materialized things, that abundance, feeling amazing, being, being more powerful than you could comprehend mentally, that these are all possible and these are all things that come over time once you make a pact with the spirit okay these are all things that are literally going to eventually happen to different degrees you are going to become very powerful you are going to enhance your psychic senses assuming that you know how to work um you know work through initiations and you know how to you know take the advice and the knowledge that that's that spirit you made a pact with is trying to teach you okay as long as you know how to do those things then you are going to reap massive rewards and massive benefits from that spirit and from making that pact so a pact is a very important thing on the adept's journey but before you go and make a pact I would definitely 110% recommend gaining, getting some experience with this field first, okay? Spend some time, some disciplined time invoking, evoking, um, which means, you know, you have the sigil in front of you, you read the demonic N or you read the angelic N or you read the N in general, which is the, it's the sequence of words and vibrations that, that channel that, that frequency, that, that deity, that spirit, it gets, it, it builds an immediate rapport with that being. Um, and if you can do that daily and you can gaze at that sigil and get to know the spirit, then you're going that alone is going to do that is going to trigger some alchemical transformations within yourself and then once you do that enough and you do that often and you keep it consistent just like anything if you want to be successful at anything you've got to be consistent then you're going to start to realize what it takes to become a powerful magician you're going to start to realize what it takes to become a powerful person in general because this shit can get intense okay when you start working with ritual when you start working with energies when you start working with these beings and you start coming at magic black magic with the intent of transformation you are going to get that you are going to get days where your energy is off and that happens for a reason because you're meant to hit you're meant to essentially control your own energy and bring it back to a balanced state Okay, like like a lot of people don't understand that and I'm gonna make a whole video actually after this one about the effects of a ritual Okay, and the effects of some so even some types of spells um, Because there's some spells that you can do that literally change your energy change the person who casts a spell It changes their energy because the spell is so powerful and for some people that can throw people off because you know in today's society There's a lot of weak people just straight up there's a lot of weak people. They wake up with their energy feeling a little bit off and they freak out and then they fucking go to their doctor and then the doctor gives them meds and then that fucks them up. And it's just this fucked up, it's this passive ass fucking cycle of people that don't know how to take initiative and responsibility for their, their lives. Um, and, and you know what? This is another thing though that I want to add to that. There's not enough knowledge out there about people talking about what I'm talking about right now. There's not, there's, people don't know what I'm talking about. That's why they go to their doctors when, they're, when their energy's off, when they, when it, they cause that energy change on themselves. You know, people will literally try to transform, they'll get into magic, um, and then once again, they do something very powerful, they trigger a powerful change within themselves, and then they freak out because that change is internal. It's not, ex it's not just external, as within, as without, as above, so below. 
When you change your life, you're changing yourself at the same time. This is like a fact. So when you do something powerful and you're successful and your body starts to change, you trigger that, that you trigger the universe to literally, you trigger nature itself, all four elements, you being the fifth, to literally transform, you're gonna feel different and it's not gonna be comfortable. I can guarantee that. It is not gonna be comfortable and that's the point because you're meant to, to reattune yourself to a new frequency, to a new energy, to a higher state of being, to a more powerful state of being, to a more grounded state of being, to a more flowing state of being, to a more dynamic state of being, to a more in, in, uh, intentful state of being. These are all different types of alchemy, right? Um, so, yeah, so that's the thing. You're like Your energy will change and people freak out when they do that because they go into this with the wrong mindset. So, um, yeah, so that, is pretty much gonna wrap this video up when it comes to making packs. That is the truth of making packs. When you make a pact with a with a devil, when you make a pact with an angel, when you make a pact with anything, any when it comes to like the spirit, the spiritual nature of things, when it comes to any deities, then be ready for some massive alchemical changes. And make sure before you make that pact, make sure that you're ready to go and make that pact because you don't want to be disrespectful. You don't want to go make a pact with a powerful being and not really want to change. It, once again, you don't have to be amazing at magic. You don't have to be even good. If you really have that intent to want to change and you are at a place in your life where you're like, I really just want to change and I want to become better and I'm ready to do that. That's all it takes. That, that, that pure intention of wanting to become a more powerful person that follows their purpose a better a, a, you could say a person that that serves more people essentially a person that that feels better about themselves uh, a person that wants to feel better about themselves and really will do what it takes to do that because I know where I was when I first got into magic and you know I was at a pretty dark place in my life and you know I I worked it out and I transmuted those energies and I you know I made it through but you know, I dove head first into this shit, man. I dove head first and I was doing things way before what most people do when they get into when they get into magic. And most people that do, will, you know, end up going insane or, you know, running to their fucking doctor and getting all medicated up because they think they fucking screwed some shit up. But I went right into that shit and I handled all that shit and I continue to do that. I continue to do this. I continue because I follow my higher self. I follow my intuition. I follow my ancestors. I, fo I follow my guides and you know, they always give me good insight and I trust that. You know, that's a big part. You know, like your guides may guide you in a direction. You go in that direction. It's powerful. That shit might change you, but they know that you can handle it when you can. And uh, you always, you always want to try and tune into that as best as you can. But um, once again, as I was saying, to take it full circle, um, you know, you don't have to be this all powerful person to make a pact. You know, it just takes that little seed of intention of actually being ready and willing to change. It can do wonders for you. Okay, so I don't want to shy you away from that, but I just want to make you know, just want to let you know that, you know, if you're not experienced with magic, making a pact probably isn't the best bet for you right now. Okay, start with the evocations. Start with the invocations. Get used to this type of energy. Um, because the, the, the infernal current, the, the dark arts, the black magic current, this is its own unique current. You know, there are not many current, this is, in my opinion, and I'm not saying this from a biased standpoint, I've been in many systems before, fully engaged. Like, I, I came from Christianity, and then I came from a place where I was like, fuck Christianity, um, and fuck God. And I, that, I saw how that, I saw how my paradigm shifted from both mindsets. And when it comes to black magic, and when it comes to the, the dark arts, and witchcraft, this is the most... This is the truest path that you can walk because it literally is balance. It is it is dark and it is light. It is like people talk about the Sephiroth, they talk about the Clipoth. It is the same tree, okay? It is balance, it really is. This is the path to walk. There is no worshiping anything but yourself in this path. I have not seen any other systems like that. So um, just know that when you walk this true path, you're gonna get true results true changes, true transformations. So be ready for it. Um, and then 
a message for the practitioners, the people that do practice, the people that are avid enough that have done invocations and know about this energy. I would consider looking into making a pact with a with one of your patrons or patronesses, which is one of your most powerful spirit guides. I would definitely consider making a pact, okay? Because that's very transformative. Um, and if you are able to handle it, then you definitely should be making a pact um, so that you can solidify those connections. Um, you know, from you into the spirit into the spirit realm with your ancestors with pretty much all of your psychic and spiritual potential between you and your higher self, all those things. Um, so yeah, and you know, later down the road, I'll make a video on how to make a pact. Um, and you know, I'm probably, yeah, I'm, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put that on my Patreon, so I don't have my Patreon up yet. This is still in the in the works. Um, so, you know, I'm working, I'm working, uh, I'm working, uh, a part-time job right now but I'm new to this to this new job that I'm working so they got me on a full-time schedule so um, after this week then I have a whole week off so I'm actually gonna work on my patreon then um, and yeah so that's gonna give me some time to work on my patreon once my patreon is out basically for those of you that don't know what it is it's a subscription plan and I'm gonna make it ten dollars a month so there's gonna be different tiers I'm gonna do like three different tiers and the first the the First tier is gonna be like questions. So if you guys wanna ask any questions, then you can donate me a dollar and then I'll respond to your question and we'll be we'll chat on Patreon. Um, but for now, you guys can, uh, you know, when and that, that comes to like, you know, important questions. If you have really in-depth questions, then we're gonna, we're gonna do that over Patreon. If you have surface questions, like little like, like, hey, like, you know, very, very surface questions, then you can drop down in the comments or you can add me on Instagram uh, and send me any direct messages there. And once again, if you send me a really in-depth question on, you know, my comments or my uh, direct message on Instagram, then I'll just redirect you back to my Patreon uh, once it's actually out though, okay? So for now, you can take advantage um, of you know asking me questions now but once my patreon's up then I'm gonna be charging a dollar for a question because I get tons of questions um, and it'll also help my channel as well um, but yeah once I get the, the the subscription plan up the next tier is gonna be ten dollars a month which is not not a lot at all it's gonna be nine ninety nine a month and I'm gonna put exclusive content on there very exclusive like me actually doing rituals um, I'm you know this is a whole thing that I'm gonna have to plan out myself like what exactly videos am I gonna you know put on it and but basically just know this the videos that I'm gonna be putting on my patreon are gonna be very very practical and in-depth videos on how to get for sure results and you're gonna actually see videos of me actually doing the work actually practicing so I'm gonna like for example I'm gonna make a video on how to make a pact with a spirit and I'm literally gonna break it down step by step how to make a pact with a specific spirit and then I'm gonna show you how to invocate how to evocate how to summon an actual spirit and I'm gonna break it down and I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna hold all the tools I'm gonna do it myself so that you can know um, and then yeah all things in that nature then I'm gonna I'm gonna put out extra advice about you know other spirits and you know there's some rituals like if I if I you know come across a ritual that I do that's really powerful and I think could you know totally benefit you guys because I have my own my own system too like I have my own things that I do that give me massive results okay and I've learned from a lot of people and I've also taken what I've learned from people and made my own thing um, uniquely so that's the art when it comes to you know this path and and the people that are you know you know know what they're talking about they make their own their own system and it's it's it honestly is a beautiful thing but you know this is it's gonna be a crazy uh, my patreon is gonna be crazy it's gonna it's gonna have a lot of potent information I'm gonna post an exclusive in-depth advanced video every once a week so definitely be ready for that I'll let you guys know when it's out um, but other than that you know my merch is finally out. You can see it. This is my sigil merch. Okay. Hecate sigil. Okay. This is a very ancient and powerful sigil right here. Okay. So if you want to get your Hecate sigil merch and the shirt is really nice quality and everything, um, then you can go to the first link in my description. It's going to say Streamlabs, and you just click that 
and then you can place your order, you put in your address, and they will ship it right to your house. Streamlabs is through YouTube, so they'll take care of it, and they'll send it straight to your house, just like, like Amazon. Um, and this is the only shirt that I have right now. I'm gonna be making other ones soon, too. Um, so let's see so we have that and then the link below that that's going to be my facebook community so if you want to be a part of my facebook group um where i post you know extra content on there in terms of like little quotes um you know picture quotes and then i put a message on there and then we all you know come together and you know talk about some powerful things as well so definitely go check that out and then if you have any questions that you want me to answer through video where i'll take a video on my phone and i'll you know I'll, you ask me a question, up to three questions, I'll record a video, you can Venmo me $5, and then I, send me your phone number and I'll shoot you the video to the, the exact in detail answer to those three questions that you have. Other than that, I'm gonna leave it there. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you like this video, hit the notification bell because I'm posting as often as I can. And other than that, have a great rest of the day or night wherever you're at. Peace.